What's up guys, Jim here. In today's video I'm going to teach you how to change your air filter in your 1 litre TSI engine. It will also be the same for the 1.4. This engine is found inside the VWs and the Audis. Alright, let's get started. Alright, first thing we're going to need is a pair of hose clamp pliers or just a pair of good pliers. And we're going to remove the hose clips on the front induct pipe. And then that should just pull off and there is also one around the back of the engine which we also need to remove which is found here you only need to remove the top one you needn't worry about the bottom one now that that back pipe's loose we can pull the back of the uh, air filter housing up out of the pipe now if we come back round to the front of the air filter housing, I'm going to be removing this little drain pipe here. It's not actually necessary, although it is good practice to do so, as it can fill up with water and uh, we'd like to drain that. Uh, to remove this, we actually just grab hold of it and we're going to twist it round in an anti-clockwise direction and then pull it down, as you can see here. This one's actually bone dry, so I could have got away with not doing it. However, it is always good to check. On the left of the air box, there's a rubber hose here, the air hose breather pipe. Just pull it to remove it. And then we need to remove the front T30 uh, screw holding the housing in place. Once you have removed this screw, it's just a case of pulling the airbox up and out of the vehicle and then we can start to change the air filter inside. As you can see, once we flip it over, we need to remove all of these. I believe they're a T25 or T20 Torx part. We need to undo all of these and then remove this cap and the air filter is sat inside. Just in case you're wondering, this is the air filter I will be using. And here are the parts, numbers if you want to pause the video to find out what air filter you'd need. This one's a Napa air filter. Once we've removed the bottom of the air filter, obviously if there's any leaves or debris in there, we need to clean that out. Here's the old air filter. You see it wasn't too bad, it wasn't too dirty. However, we're going to be changing it anyway. Okay, so new air filter here. There's the part number again. Only goes in one way really. Put it flat side down. Make sure all the foam is correctly in place and then we'll put the bottom of the air filter back on and we will do all of the bolts back up uh, we don't need to do them crazy tight because they are only screwing into plastic we we'll just basically nip them up and then we'll refit the box in the reverse order
Okay, so now the new air filter is fitted, we can go ahead and fit the airbox back into place. It's a pretty easy job to be honest, it should take you no longer than 15-20 minutes even if you're inexperienced as long as you follow the video. Uh, just remember that when you also put the T30 back in place that holds the front of the airbox in to not do it up too tight, it only needs a nip again because it's going into plastic otherwise you'll just strip the plastic out and uh, break whatever you're screwing it into. Remember also to put this little drain pipe back on. Uh, it may be tight when you put it up, so you may need to squirt some WD-40 on it like I did. You, know, you should just be able to push it up and twist it clockwise for it to lock into place. Well, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If that helped, uh, please consider subscribing, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.